Sickness Radio. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark One, Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Roughly translated, Book of the Dead. The book served as a passageway to the evil world beyond. It was written long ago. The sea ran red with blood. It was this blood that was used to ink the book. In the year 1300 AD, the book disappeared. Hello, 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 everybody. We're back. Welcome back to the Early Hardcore Academy and it's show seven already. And in this episode, I would like to talk about uh, the American heroes of hardcore. And I'm talking about a lot of DJs, but let's start off with Omar Santana, Necronomicon.
now listening to DJ Gizmo and Delirium, Do You Wanna Dance? And I know that DJ Gizmo is from The Hague, the Netherlands, but DJ Delirium is not. He is from the US of A, Mr. Cricket Gets Wicked himself. Before that you heard Lenny D and DJ Edge, Alpha One, but I heard some people say that only Lenny D produced that track, but doesn't really matter. It's all the way from 1993. It's long gone. It's long gone. Doesn't really matter. It was featured on Thunderdome 4, actually, uh, Alpha 1. And Lenny D is the label manager, the label boss of Industrial Strength Records. And nowadays still going very strong in hardcore, in techno and whatnot. So, yeah, that's about Lenny D. Um, I want to talk about a lot of more DJs, uh, of course DJ Delirium, uh, DJ Omar Santana, which I started off the show with, and also coming up next, DJ Omar Santana, and Rob G and Delta 9, and uh, Chicago Hardcore Force, etc. And if you're watching this on YouTube, and you should, if you're not, then you really should, because uh, the last episode was not recorded on uh, YouTube. Well, it was recorded, but I didn't put it on YouTube. Because basically my computer, I record this through webcam. And my computer thought it would be a good idea to record it at one frame a second. I have no idea why I did it. I bought a new PC. It was already uh, eight years old, my old one. So I bought a new PC. So now it's up on YouTube, uh, episode seven. So. 
if you're not watching me on YouTube, you should just type in uh, Early Hardcore Academy and you can find it right away. So, so I'm gonna show you this CD. This is the Heroes of Hardcore American Edition. Uh, three CDs mixed by uh, Omar Santana, Rob G and DJ Delirium and this CD is from 1996 and it really meant a lot to me. Uh, if you ever seen me play on an uh, early hardcore uh, party then you know that a lot of tracks that were played on these CDs I also have them in, uh, in my catalog and I really love to play them all. Actually the, play, the track playing right now on the background and uh, you heard before is Gizmo and Delirium Do You Wanna Dance as I already told and that track is also on this CD. It's on the Rob G CD. I think it was on the Rob G CD. I'm not even sure. I'm starting to get doubts now. I have no idea. Oh no, 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 I'm wrong. It's on the Delirium CD. It kind of figured, but hey, it's a long while ago. So, it doesn't really matter, but this is the American edition. And coming up next is uh, a track from Omar Santana as well. Um, and I say as well because this track, uh, this CD I just showed is also has also contains the CD from Omar Santana. And the track I'm gonna play is a really well, well known track and we all know this track. It's of course The Wizard of O by DJ Omar Santana. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, come to jail, take four. This is the best part of the track, I think. And you know what's best about it? This part right here. Coming up next, another banger by Omar Santana. And it's also on H2O recordings. Hype, hype, hype the funk.
for the skipping needle back then but these players are Gemini's from 2001 give them a break come on right now playing on my right hand side Jesus Delirium Gangsta Sound coming up next Lenny D
right now playing on my left hand side Lenny D and the Hardcore Warriors Fuck, how's the strackle? I'm so bad with titles, that's just terrible Of course, Funky Twisted Did you know by the way that the Hardcore Warriors are DJ Le uh, Yappo and Lansing House? Yes, very nice Woo! Playing on my right hand side, too hostile. With going out to the hardcore. And uh, fun fact actually, that too hostile is DJ Paul Elstek together with Omar Santana. Also this track was not released on H2O recordings. H2O recordings being the label from Omar Santana, but this was released on Rotterdam Records actually. And actually it's the B-side. It's the B-side from Make and Clap, but I love it very much. Going out to the hardcore. From a collaboration between the Netherlands and the USA, we go straight back all the way to the USA, just only USA, DJ Delirium, dance all about. Here we go.
Yes, this track is very important to me because not only is it from one of the best American producers ever, I think it's also one of the best producers in early hardcore. DJ Delirium, Dance or Die, this track was actually never really released because it was an exclusive track he made for the opening of his set on Thunder Gnome 96. And I have the record, actual record from the, 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 the party, right there. So if you're not watching this on YouTube yet, you really should because I have an awesome tunnel on vinyl wall. Yes, and I'm not showing off or anything or flexing with this stuff, but I'm very proud of it. So I, I, I can show it, I think, you know, it's, it's nothing to be ashamed about. So Thunderdome 96, Dance or Die, and it was actually... I'm not, I'm, I'm lost for words, I don't know. But uh, on this, uh, this party, Thunder 96, in Leeuwarden in the Netherlands, uh, where DJ Delirium played, we all know the story, I guess, but if you don't, listen up. Uh, he was so overwhelmed with all the people standing on, in, uh, in front of him on this stage, so he thought it would be a good idea to do a stage dive, yes. And doing this stage dive, he broke his arm because uh, literally everybody just went away and he just smacked down to the ground. And uh, actually it's on the Thunderdome 96 video as well. And this video is also uploaded on YouTube. You can check out, you can just search it on YouTube or go to uh, the channel of uh, Gabber Mansion Holland. And there all the Thunderdome uh, videos are uploaded. Thank you Sanjay. So let's move on with Dance or Die and coming up to the rhythm. To the rhythm also, by the way, uh, from Lenny D and Dark Raver, also a Dutch and American collaboration and also just a track that you just hear so much and you can't get enough of. But first, let's continue with Dance or Die. Yeah. <laughs> 
This track playing right now was also featured on the Heroes of Hardcore CD on the Omar Santana page. This is also Omar Santana, Hoy Noise and Mahavak.
to of course what else DJ Lenny D and the dreamer coming up next a track from industrial strength but it's not from Lenny D it's actually from Rob G this is the only person from this Eros of Arquacity that I haven't played yet Nate as in scouting right after the
yes, oh yes, this was DJ Rob G and the Natas. Natas is counting. And if uh, people wondering what the Natas is, it was actually his, well, you could call it a band basically. So yeah, this is uh, Rob G, Natas is counting. And I want to pay a big shout out to everybody who listens to this show every week, uh, every month, excuse me. And also, that's not uh, very unimportant, all my followers on the socials and also all the, the, the followers on uh, YouTube. If you, don't, if you aren't subscribed yet, just please do because I will not only be uploading uh, this show on my YouTube channel, but there's also uh, a review coming up from this piece of gear, the Denon DJ Prime 4. Because I heard a lot of DJs are very interested in it and they have some practical questions as well. So not just a review like what can it do, but more of the practical things like if you plug in a USB stick with a record box on it, can you, can you work with it or not? Or yeah, just and these type of things I'm going to show in this video also just mixing videos uh, they're all going to be uploaded on my youtube so stay tuned on my youtube channel just search for or dj convulsion or uh, early hardcore academy you can find me right away and also a big shout out to mc kenna he's a, a, a listener who listens every week together with alan smith big shout out to you as well so i want to close off the show today with a little bit, ah, a little bit more power. Just it. This was already 190 BPM, but let's stop it up uh, one notch for the final track of this episode of the Early Hardcore Academy. It's the Chicago Hardcore Party Force featuring DJ Dave. Yo, Mr. DJ here on Toxic Sickness Radio. See you next month. Bye bye. <laughs>
Oh, 